Well, July 3rd, 2015, my 60th birthday. What a perfect opportunity to recite some Shakespeare. Yes, spent most of the day practicing the bits I've remembered. You know, you have to keep the, the gardens fresh. Well, so here's a bit, Hamlet. Soliloquy. How all occasions do inform against me and spur my dull revenge. What is a man if his chief good and market of his time be but to sleep and feed? A peace no more. Sure, he that made us with such large discourse, looking before and after, gave us not that capability and godlike reason to question us unused. Now, whether it be bestial the oblivion or some craven scruple of thinking too precisely on the event, a thought which, quartered, has but one part wisdom and ever three parts coward. I do not know why yet. I live to say this thing is to do. Sith I have cause and will and strength and means to do it. Examples gross as earth exhorts me. Witness this army of such mass in charge, led by a delicate and tender prince, whose spirit, with divine ambition puffed, makes mouths at the invisible event, exposing what is mortal and unsure to all that fortune, death, and danger dare, even for an eggshell. Rightly to be great, is not to stir without great argument greatly to find quarrel in his straw when honor's at the stake. How stand I then that had a father killed, a mother stained, excitements of my reason and my blood, and let all sleep, while to my shame I see the imminent death of 20,000 men, that for a fantasy and trick of fame go to their graves like beds, fight for a plot, whereon the numbers cannot try the cause, which is not too enough incontinent to hide the slain. Oh, from this time forth, my thoughts be bloody, or nothing worth. Hamlet, from Shakespeare, on my birthday. <laughs> Lovely, I tell you. It is quite lovely out here. Out here, next to the stinking Divine Creek, known as Yamu Creek. Quite lovely indeed. <laughs>